Hi, this is Stan Fitzgerald representing the Center for Renewing America. It's an organization founded by Russ Vaught, who was the White House Budget Director for the Trump administration. Uh, and he is starting this organization to form a national coalition where we're going to work on border security, election integrity, and government oversight. One of the things that Russ specifically asked me to do was rip his videos and put them on our platform. So for starters, we're going to do that. My wife, Donna, and I will be working on the ground in Georgia uh, with Wesley Ross. If you're from Georgia, you know who he is. Uh, so you can reach out to myself, to Wesley. Um, we'll get you connected with the long-term plan if you want to help us. Um, and we're going to be officially partnering with Veterans for America First to use our platform to reach more people uh, in this effort to help save America. So please watch these videos, visit the website. Um, I'll be on weekly calls with the team and we'll keep you updated on how you can help. It's increasingly clear that the national apparatus of the federal government's intel agencies, their long list of alphabet soup agencies, the FBI, the DOJ, the CIA, the DHS, are all being weaponized against the American people. Average families going about their daily lives, going to work, raising a family, being a part of a church can no longer be assured that the jackbooted thugs won't be barreling down their door, terrifying their children, ruining their lives. We need to know the extent. The FBI's controversial arrest of a pro-life Catholic father at his house in front of his family. The FBI raided my house and took my phone, my computer, and my mega hat. No, I want to know why you were banging on my door with a gun. You're not going to give me your name. You're not going to give me any information. Mom, how do you feel? I feel yeah. scared to death. I'm, I'm frightened. That the Attorney General of Washington is instructing the FBI to mobilize against anti-mask school board demonstrators and even go so far as to label them domestic terrorists. Now, there was former advisor Michael Caputo, who was bankrupted while trying to fend off legal fights. Roger Stone, Steve Bannon, of course, arrested on contempt charges. John Eastman and his cell phone taken by federal agents. And most recently, former justice official Jeffrey Clark was raided by the feds in his underwear. Last night, pursuant to a search warrant, the FBI confiscated the phone phone of Mike Lindell, the founder of MyPillow. On Wednesday, September 29th, the National School Board Association wrote a letter to the president asking the president to use the Department of Justice to target parents that were upset at critical race theory, that were upset at mask mandates in schools, to target them as domestic terrorists. Corruption. FBI and DOJ corruption and breaking of the law. I think this is highly politicized and it's also part of a nationwide effort yesterday. Republican Congressman Scott Perry says his phone was confiscated by the FBI just one day after the Mar-a-Lago search. The FBI directed agents to use counterterrorism measures to track parents critical of their school boards. This is an unprecedented step that just shows that the department is being weaponized. It's more out of control than the CIA was when Senator Church held his famous church committee hearings. The church committee was created in January of 1975 by the Senate in response to a series of revelations and allegations about domestic intelligence abuses in the United States. And I think this is a wake up call for those in Congress to be able to use the tools at their disposal to ask the right questions and to prepare for a church style commission next year if given a Republican majority to dismantle the FBI into a thousand bits. We need the incoming Congress, which starts in January, to do the same thing, to turn the FBI upside down.